Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Today I am doing my actual really quick microwave grits. These are home style grits though. You know how sometimes you want grits but you don't have time to make them on the stove, but you want a good bowl of home cooked grits. So we're gonna make them today. Let's get started. Okay, using a tablespoon measure, we're going to go ahead and measure out four tablespoons of grits. I use the Kroger Quick Grits. You can use the Quaker brand if you'd like or whatever brand that you have. Um, this is the only method that I have used, the only brand that I have used it with. So, taking that into consideration, you can get started with your brand. Next, we're going to pour in the water. And that's going to be two thirds cup of water. Next, you want to add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. And you want to mix that up. And I'm using a fork just so all the granules will move through the little um, slots in the fork. Just want to mix it up and we're going to go ahead and get it into the microwave. All right, it's in the microwave. I like to use a splatter safe cover. So we're going to go ahead and put it on three minutes and let it go. All right, I just got these out of the microwave and this is what they're looking like. Still a little consistency of water there in the middle. And this is exactly what they're to be looking like. Now, we're going to add in two tablespoons of milk. And we're going to add in a teaspoon of butter. Or margarine, whichever one you're working with will be fine. And you want to go ahead and get that mixed up together. Yum, yum, yum. And we're going to go ahead and put these back in the microwave for two minutes. Back in the microwave. After two minutes in the microwave, this is what we have. And we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with one tablespoon of water. Go ahead and get it mixed up. If you want yours a little soupier, you can add more water. And I probably would put a little more because when grits set, they get stiffer. So you can actually put one more tablespoon of, of water in it. Um, even if you want to do a little bit of milk, that's fine. But some people like their grits like this. Some people like them runny. So that is certainly up to you. I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of water. There we go. And this water that I'm using, it's right out of the faucet. You can use cold water out of the refrigerator if you want to. Uh, but this right out of the tap just cools the grits down also so that they are not so hot you know right out of the microwave because you wouldn't be able to eat them right out of the microwave so if you want to do cold water out of the refrigerator or just out of the tap like I said it just cools it down so that you can eat them right away if you're in a hurry before work or school or whatever that would be perfect so I like mine's thinner and creamier so I'm adding one tablespoon of milk. Yum, yum, yum. So that is, after getting them out of the microwave, you can add in two tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of milk. Milk makes them creamier. That's what the milk is for. 
And at this point, if you want to add in more butter, you can. I'm just going to add in a smidge. That's just for my taste now. You can add just a little bit more of butter or margarine. Butter is better. But I know some people do margarine. And at this point, if you want to add a little more salt, you can, but you don't want to overdo it on the salt. And here you go. A nice bowl of home-style grits right out of the microwave. I know some people add um, sugar, pepper, or whatever your taste buds desire. You can add it to this basic recipe and come up with some good, 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 good grits. All right, guys, so there you go. I hope you enjoy it, and bon appetit.